the United States of America is in no way a Christian nation. It never has been, and it never will be, by law. Our United States of America was founded on secularism. Our oldest records state unequivocally that America is in no way, shape, or form Christian. And it can't be, because the basis of America, reading our Statue of Liberty ought to clear it up for you, involves accepting people from all over the world. So to force a singular religious dogma onto everyone against their wishes and will and freedom would be un-American. And in 1797, long, long ago, in Article 11 of our Treaty of Tripoli, it states it very simply, quote, As the government of the United States of America is not in any sense founded on the Christian religion. Likewise, with our Pledge of Allegiance, it was written in 1892, about a century after our Treaty of Tripoli. And the Pledge of Allegiance was actually authored by Socialist Minister Francis Bellamy, who lived from 1855 to 1931. The pledge was originally published in The Youth's Companion on September 8, 1892. Here is its original form. I pledge allegiance to my flag and the republic for which it stands, one nation indivisible with liberty and justice for all. In 1923, quite a few years later, the words, quote, the flag of the United States of America were added. The pledge then became, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. In 1954, during the threat of communism, Eisenhower encouraged Congress to add the words, quote, under God, a meaningless expression. Bellamy's own daughter didn't like this and actually objected to it as all decent Americans should. As it stated very plainly, America is not a Christian nation, nor do we all believe in the same God or gods. Many of us don't even believe in religious dogma. It's too vile and primitive. So, America is, has always been, and will remain secular, despite the enormous pressure by religious kooks to force their specific opinions onto all of us. If religious kooks owned a restaurant, you would have to eat what they eat, which is the opposite of freedom. It makes absolute sense to completely remove the useless man-made term God from everything worldwide, not just here in secular America.